மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க थैंक यू வெல்கம் பேக் एवरीवन द पोजीशन वी हैव हियर यू शुड रिकॉग्नाइज फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट लेसन द गेम बिटवीन कार्लसन एंड बोसियोचिच where we had the bishop e5 line just to go back one move uh bishop e5 was played knight e7 and bishop d3 uh bringing us to the current position bosiochich remember played the move uh b6 walking into the very strong e4 in this game we're going to see a uh, different idea from black probably the best move in this position to play c4 uh closing down the center and going for this queen side pawn storm Uh, now I should mention the player playing white in this game is Tamora Nabadi who we have, we've actually seen a, another game from a uh, very strong grandmaster from Israel he's playing N Abbasov who's another strong grandmaster over 2600 feet uh, and they played in Batumi of uh, of this year 2018 so going forward here bishop c2 b5 the play was pretty natural for both sides uh Nabadi went for this very thematic e4 break and after the trade uh the bishop landed on e4 and then rook b8 and one thing about this game that i will say it was not the cleanest game and within just a few moves white actually got a losing position but then it got so complicated that uh that eventually white was the one with the winning tactic and nabadi was able to find it and, and convert with with uh with ease so i do want to note uh the, some improvement for white's compared to what was played in the game nabadi played queen e2 uh which probably wasn't the most accurate move i would argue that white should just castle first given that there's no there's no like future plan for white to castle queen side because black is already going for some storm on the queen side so castling king side probably would have been the most flexible option after queen e2 the game continued and white's king actually stayed in the center so after knight f5 a4 b4 um the play from white wasn't too admirable especially after uh, the resulting position c take b2 rook b1 and now if we look at the position it's just uh, it's sort of a mess this pawn on b2 uh looks very menacing potentially supported with by uh, by the oncoming c3 uh but meanwhile there is there's a lot of things attacked the knight is attacking both the rook and the queen the bishops are still staring at each other uh not to mention there's perhaps uh some possibility for black to uh to take on d4 um anyway it's it's a big mess and if black plays accurately in this position black should come out with the advantage and the move to play is a very tactical move i just want to show uh the the general line how black could have uh basically got a, a winning advantage given uh given that white's king is still in the center black could have played the the beautiful knight take d4 and the idea is that it does leave the queen hanging and the rook hanging but it counter attacks white's queen and also attacks the knight on c6 and a move like knight take d4 would just run into bishop e4 check followed by queen take d4 and black would be doing very well uh maybe i should go for just to show the line after king f1 queen take d4 the rook on b8 is hanging but then after c3 uh black has uh more than enough compensation for the rook given that uh, these two pawns are are very close to queening and white's rook on h1 is completely out of play um not to mention there might be some ideas of a fish a6 coming very soon so going back uh knight take d4 would have been uh, a a very nice shot by black i'll show just one more line here if knight take d8 black can then play this nice intermediate move bishop b4 check and um now is ready to to take the queen uh if the queen moves to block the check then after take take and uh probably actually I was about to take on on d8 but probably saving the rook probably moving to b3 and um if we count material black is is just up two pawns and um, pieces are scattered but these two pawns are very valuable c3 is coming black is uh, on the way to win this position so black had a chance but uh but missed it uh and what was played in the game was queen b6 this is a just a massive blunder and it's amazing in these complicated positions how quickly uh a game can turn around in just one move and in this case white is able to seize initiative and uh nabadi started with a uh, simple trade on d6 and i'm sure when he took on d6 he saw the 
the next move coming. And it's really just a forced win for white. Uh, this move, bishop take h7. Um, pretty thematic move, as we've seen before. And this is actually a nice checkmating pattern. The bishop cannot be taken due to maiden 2. So if king take h7, there's a very simple queen h5 check, and then knight e7 checkmate. You don't see this every day, but it's always useful to look out for. Um, that's why you should always kind of recognize these patterns. If the bishop is targeting h7, the knight is targeting e7, and the queen could potentially come to h5, it's a sign that there might be some uh, some sort of mating pattern. So what happened in the game after bishop take h7? Uh, king h8 had to be played. Pretty sad move. And from this point forward, white just holds on to the initiative until the very end. Queen h5 threatening uh, many other sorts of uh, of checkmates. Black had to play g6, and white just simply takes on g6, and then the king starts running. King ran to f6, and then a nice finish from uh, from white with a simple bishop to e4, uh, simply retreating the bishop, defending the knight, and getting ready for some move like queen h4 check. Uh, knight f5 was played, and then after g4, uh, bishop to b7, g5 check. Uh, white is, is happily giving away the g-pawn, to open up the, the file for the rook after king takes g5, rook g1, king f6, and then uh, the very simple bishop take f5, and black is, is just uh, crumbling in this position. There's not even a spike check because both queen a5 and queen b4 are off limits. Uh, black played bishop takes c6, and then uh, a nice finish, queen h4, uh, forcing black to resign. If black were to play on, let's say king take f5, there would be a simple mate in two after queen g4, king f6, and queen g5 mates. So I liked, uh, liked seeing this game because it was um, it was just a, a complete mess in the early middle game. And uh, both sides had chances. Uh, Black had, had a good chance to, to get some winning advantage, but missed it. And then the game turned around. And uh, I mean, the ability to spot tactics in this case for both sides was, was crucial in, in determining who would... Uh, come out on top. So hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.